This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl and it's day one for the Louis Vuitton America's Cup World Series here in beautiful Gothenburg. So exciting. We've just had race one and Oracle Team USA did lead from start to finish. But Ben Ainsley Racing, Land Rover BAR, we're closing the whole time. Can't wait to watch race two. A big thanks to Amplify Photo. We're going to have plenty of shots straight after racing as well as interviews with all of the skiffers from the media pit. Hope you can join me. If you want to catch some live tweeting at SailorGirl218 is where it's at or, or make sure you get the app or, or watch via your local pay TV channel. Pretty exciting. We'll be back very, very soon. This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl. Nath, it's been a tough few days for you, mate. How are you going? Yeah, it's been a case of bend them and fix them the last couple of days. Um, you know, the guys, the shore crew guys last night did an amazing job. You know, there's a bit of damage on the wing re required to fix and... You know, they were here till one last night, putting it all together. They were back here at seven in the morning, lifting the boat, putting it back in the water. You know, we're all here down here with them. And uh, the last thing we needed was to have to lift out again tonight to fix more things on the boat. So uh, it's, it's, it's been tough, but having said that, um, you know, we started very well today and I thought that we've improved a lot since the last event. And that's what these events are for, is to sharpen your skills and get yourself better for the cup. And uh, you know, we're not seeing the results on the board yet, but you know, we're pretty confident they're coming. It will come. I actually, I thought you nailed that second start. You, you had the, the pin end, you're, you're ready to go, but maybe not just enough speed. Well, we, we nailed it 100%, but when, when your foil's all cracked open... Um, that you, yeah, we, we hit the finish, hit the rock, two boat lengths after the finish. Right. And so we're going to lift out tonight to try and repair the board and the rudder. And so um, we knew we were going to be off the pace the whole race, but we executed a really good start. Unfortunately, we just didn't have any boat speed. <laughs> <laughs> Those damn rocks, they jump up at you. Yeah, they do. They're literally like two metres, two boat lengths from the finishing line. And we just, you know, didn't turn up quick enough. And we just spotted them. And as we turned up, we hit them. So uh, it was very disappointing. Yeah, no, it's been a tough two days. Tomorrow, maybe that's going to be your day. Yeah, well, tomorrow's going to be lighter again, and we've done a lot of focus on using the Code Zero, and, um, you know, we're out there today doing that in that second race and just getting everything ready for tomorrow because we were a bit off the pace, so we were going through that. And, um, you know, we're, we're happy with how we're starting, and we're happy with how the boat handling's going. We've just got to all put it together tomorrow. That's, that's absolutely awesome. Now, yesterday when you did capsize, we are all a bit nervous here in the media center waiting to hear what had happened. You know, do you get a bit nervous when that happens as well? No, like it, it happens on these boats, probably moments like that happen every day and it's only every now and then that you actually do lay it over and um, you know yesterday we just obviously found the limit and um, you know that's part of racing these boats and you know you look at everyone who does it, they, they love doing it and they love pushing the limits and um, you know when you sail boats like this you just got to accept that you are close to the limit and uh, you know, the consequences are pretty high when it goes bad. Well, no stranger to pushing the limits, that's for sure. But I think maybe the shore crew are going to deserve a few beers come Sunday night, given they'll be up again tonight. Yeah, I'm not their, their favourite person at the moment, but, um, you know, they're great guys and they know it's part of the job and, you know, we're going to be there with them, doing everything we can to help and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we get it all together and we'll be back in the water either tonight or in the morning. Perfect. Well, good luck tomorrow. There's plenty of people cheering for you. But every time we come to Scandinavia, it's wicked sailing with all the rocks around, and um, it's good fun. And, but yeah, they're there. You got to stay away from them, and and, and they're governing your tactics a bit as well. But it's, yeah. it makes it good. You know, you guys did well today. Two seconds in the practice races today, but continuing to improve out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think yesterday we sailed quite well in the in the practicing like you say and then t today we're still i mean i think we're really pleased with how we're sailing the boat now you know we're actually starting to communicate well and and we've got all the bits together it's just a case of putting it all together in one single race and um that's it's understandable you know it's a new team new yeah. communications um but we, we it's starting to feel like it's gelling which is really good and we're really seeing the potential yeah, no, that's awesome I'm, I'm proud of you guys already and i know there are a lot of people who are because as you mentioned earlier on or well, i think um that Dean did you know you guys are still trying to work out everything in the back end you're still putting people in in place so that you guys have got support rather than doing it all yourselves it must be incredibly challenging yeah it's it's full on and I think one of the hardest things has been is focusing on racing yeah. you know because we're actually working so hard on trying to put the team together right now that there's plenty going on and it's, it's difficult to get distracted and I think but the, the good thing is we're aware of that and um, but we, we're looking forward to getting settled down and getting into training and that's not going to happen until the end of the year. Um, but um, but we're, 
that will come. And at the moment, it's in the big the big picture is the America's Cup, you know, and we need to build a team for that, and that's what it's all about. And um, this, but at the same time, we still want to do well in these yeah, events. Of course you do. I mean, yourself, Fuku, Dean, you're all fierce competitors, I mean, but you're also working quite tightly, I think, with with your, with Oracle Team USA. That's going to help too. Yeah, for sure. And um, we're building a really good relationship there. And those guys are obviously been putting a lot of work in and have enormous skills from the previous cup and everything that those guys have done so it's it's going to help us a lot for sure um, and, but we need to make sure that it's a, a two-way relationship and that we give them everything back as well yeah well it sounds like you're building a really strong backbone there's plenty of stuff to come for you guys but some lighter wind tomorrow yep yeah lighter air tomorrow um slightly different challenge it's going to be about getting off the line well and, um, and good slip boat handling with the code zero and stuff so it's going to be yeah different challenge and but, but still good fun. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it's going to be really exciting but congrats for everything that you've achieved so far on and off the water it's awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Glenn good day out there two threes I thought you were going to have a two in that second one though. Yeah look the racing was was close we were a bit uh, you know a bit bummed not to to finish second in that last one we had a great great tussle with uh, Ben and his guys and uh, really really enjoyed the racing and and, um, yeah, just a shame, shame that they put their zero up right at the end there when we sailed into that lighter breeze. But uh, full credit to them. And you know, Jimmy and the boys did a did a good job to, to sneak away. They had a nice little break, and you know, managed to uh, to probably look over their shoulder at the battle that we were having you know, a lot of the day. But uh, at the end of the day, the racing is what we're here for, and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. So hopefully tomorrow, you know, double points, um, everything's up for grabs. So it's uh, the regatta's really going to start tomorrow, in actual fact. And a little bit lighter. It'll be interesting to see you guys race in some light breeze. Yeah. It'll be uh, pretty sort of old school, traditional multi hull racing, to be honest. And uh, without having the big Jenicas like we used to in the lighter conditions, it's going to be quite tricky to get the boats around the course. You know, with the code zeros, you, you know, you've got to do a huge heat up out of the jibes to, uh, to actually get downwind again. So we'll be uh, certainly covering some covering some acreage trying to get downwind. I think tomorrow, but um, really looking forward to it. Obviously, um, you know, being a little bit lighter, you know, our guys uh, hopefully it'll fall fall our way. You know, in the bigger breeze, the bigger boys tend to do pretty well, and hopefully being a bit lighter will be, uh, be pretty slippery tomorrow. Well, you've definitely got the potential on board. Yeah, no, look, uh, with Pete, Blair, you know, Ray and, and Guy, fantastic group of guys, and, you know, we're only really just in our infancy of sailing together as a group. Uh, a lot to learn, but, uh, you know, a fantastic opportunity here to do some racing, and, you know, we haven't had a lot of time to do any training, uh, obviously with the boats being shipped from one venue to the other and, and the rules. So, uh, no, every, every hour on the water for us is, is golden going forwards to uh, the next couple of years. And everyone's been busy too. I mean, everyone says that you've got probably the most cat experience under your belt. You've got Blair and Pete on fire in the 49er. Does that bring confidence to the team as well? Oh, look, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, with Ray's experience of all the big boat sailing, I guess my multi-hull experience, you combine that and then you combine Pete and Blair's, you know, Olympic, you know, top level experience together, you know, those guys have definitely got their eye in and, uh, you know, it's fantastic for me to be able to sail with those guys and know that they're, you know, on their game, the touchy-feely side of their sailing is, is, is as good as you get and um, really it's just a matter for us to combine as a group, um, you know, put our best foot forward and, um, you know, utilise that, uh, that, those skill sets. Absolutely awesome, and you still got a smile on your face, hey? Still enjoying it? <laughs> yeah, no, I love, I love, I love my racing, and it's um, it's hard to sort of wait for four weeks to get back and, and do more. So uh, when you do get to actually get out there and uh, and turn some handles and pull some ropes, it is pretty nice. It's uh, a lot better than sitting in front of the computer, that's for sure. Definitely. But the word is that maybe you guys will get to have a bit of a run after Bermuda. Are you going to stick around for a bit? Yeah, look, we'll see how we go. Um, obviously, it's the leading into the uh, to the to the Kiwi and Australian summer, so um, we'll be looking forward to some some nice weather back home. Um, but no, we'll we'll play it by ear. We've got a lot of planning and uh, bits and pieces to organise, so uh, we'll see how we go. I'm looking forward to getting you know, to Bermuda to, to have a bit of a sail around there, but um, at the end of the day, you know, we've got plenty going on back in New Zealand as well, so uh, lots to work on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't wait to catch up with you. Maybe I'll get down to the Bay of Islands, who knows? Yeah, it's not a bad spot. <laughs> Cheers. Ben, tricky day out there, but you sailed exceptionally well, especially that first race. I think you really were pegging the Oracle guys back all the time. We did, yeah. We came through well in the first race, and it was it was close at the finish. We were not far off Oracle, and the second race we were we were going well. We had a bit of a disaster at one of the women marks, and we got caught the wrong side of the island, and lost a huge amount of, uh, of ground to Oracle. The Kiwis overtook us, and that was a, a little bit of a dark moment in our day, I suppose. Oh no! Uh, but after that, we got it together and managed to just pip the Kiwis on the line. So the guys sailed really well. They really put in in today to get us back 
uh, with two good finishes and all to play for tomorrow with double points. Absolutely awesome. And you pop that code zero, look good. Yes, we got it, got it out at the right, right time, right, <laughs> right, right, right time. for the finish there and just got over the Kiwis, which was a nice, nice little uh, point extra for us. Yeah, definitely. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Hopefully you can uh, get yourself back up there. Yes, we'll try. Thanks. <laughs> good. Jimmy, what a riffer. Yeah, it was a good day. The boys did a great job really on board. I mean, the first one we definitely made a few mistakes here and there, and um, but the second one I thought was great. It was the first time the team was really working well together. Tommy had a great day all day in the wind, yeah. really. Um, you know, in the first one he got us out of trouble a couple of times when we had a couple of bad manoeuvres, and second one we were able to put it all together, the boat handling and the speed, and then he did his thing and it was yeah. uh, we were able to sail away. Yeah, you're the first to identify that left, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was looking at that before the race, you know, and, and it was a couple of times the right was looking good, but it, yeah, it was a bit of a left-hand racetrack. Yeah. The first start as well, you just hammered it off the pin end there, sailed from Tulluid. That was that was really good to watch. Yeah, the, it was quite a wide wind angle coming off there. That's Usually the reaches are a little bit tighter, so yeah. that we just felt that it would be pretty powerful to be lured boat. Initially, I thought we might get rolled, but we, um, again, like Louis, is just a friggin' animal winding that wing winch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nice having having him spinning it. Yeah, nice. Well, that's really good to hear. And, and the, the team's going well together. A few little changes on board? Yeah, they are. I mean, obviously, Kinley Fowler did an awesome job last time. He actually sailed the whole regatta last time with a broken hand. He um, he got back to Bermuda, got an extra, and they're like, yeah, you've broken your hand. So it was impressive that he just pulled off Portsmouth doing that. But Joey jumped in, and obviously, you know, we've sailed a lot together, but he, um, he, he sat down with Kinley, and they were able to get him up to speed quickly, and so he slotted in really well. And... Um, yeah, I mean, I've got to say, with Joey and Kyle and Louis really sailing the boat well, we just felt like we had a bit of a speed edge. Nice. And, and, but then, that said, Tommy's moved one back. Is that correct? At times, he'll come back. Yeah. You know, it definitely makes the communication easier, you know, especially with the helicopter up at times. It's uh, getting very close. Yeah. So, um, yeah, at times, he'll come back, and that just helps the comms. But, yeah, a lot of it will depend on the mode we're sailing on the boat. But, he, um, yeah, I mean, he was just really he had a... Saw it all day, really, you know, and we were, as long as we had the boat handling, you know, and the speed right, he, um, we could just stretch. Tactics make a big difference, but a fast boat helps him get where he wants to go, hey? Yeah, it is. It, it's interesting, though. It is a full-team effort. I mean, at times, Kyle and I, Joey, get stuck heads down, and so Tom's able to help us a lot with the moating of the boat, and I think that's pretty critical, um, and sort of knowing what he wants to do. But, yeah, the boys, boys sailed well. The second race is a good one, but the first time we've really... You know, been able to work really well the whole race. So, but still a few things we can do better, and we'll go back with Philippe and really try and build on for tomorrow. I mean, it's all about tomorrow. Yeah, and it's good to see him on board, Philippe, in between races as well, having a bit of a chat. Yeah, I mean, we always try and do that, and we've did that through the cup the whole way, uh, in the last World Series during the last campaigns, and yeah, I mean, look, he's someone we've worked with for a long time, and big factor of of why we why we're going well at the moment. He's he's really been pushing us hard and. Yeah, we'll go back and work hard tonight with him and, and hopefully take a couple more steps for tomorrow. Yeah, well, there was a noticeable gear change, I think, even in that second race. He lifted another peg, whereas in the first race, it was almost like Ainsley was gaining all the time. Yeah, I think it was just, you know, we were, I was sort of a little out of whack with Joey at times and the jibes and bottom marks. I wasn't quite getting right with the board adjustment. So, yeah, we'll definitely be looking at that tonight to try and, try and take another step. Well, well sailed. It's good to see you come away with some bullets. That must feel nice. Yeah, yeah, about time. We just need to get a couple tomorrow now. <laughs> Perfect. Good luck, Jimmy. So that's the end of day one here at the Louis Vuitton America's Cup World Series in Gothenburg. We do have Oracle Team USA leading the way, but you just heard Ben Ainsley is going to bring it tomorrow, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. It was also great to hear from Nathan Outeridge. They did have some damage on their foils at the finish of the first race today, which is why they then used race two to test their code zero, given that tomorrow is looking like much lighter conditions. Also great to touch base with Glenn Ashby. There's so much more potential coming from Emirates Team New Zealand. I can just feel it. So make sure you stay tuned tomorrow. I'll be live tweeting at SailorGirl218. You can check out the action on Instagram or Facebook, Adventures of a Sailor Girl or at adventuresofasailorgirl.com. Big thanks to Amplify Photo for filming and taking plenty of pics. You can find the high-res images on Facebook or on the website. Just so excited to be here. Over the beaches.